A lot of people talking about the fall color and how fast the leaves are changing in Colorado. Mark Manheimer up in Silverthorne, Summit County, showing those aspens. And boy, are they changing fast. Peter, uh, the Guanella Pass, he was on the Grant side of the pass this weekend, snapped a couple pictures, sent them in, and certainly the colors are changing in the high country. Because of the drought, it stresses the trees a little bit, so they have a tendency to change a little earlier than they otherwise would. So we've adjusted the peak dates just a little bit. Uh, not much. I haven't heard of any place in Colorado where the peak has already started. It's probably going to be a few more days for that. September 8th through the 18th for the far northern mountains and then uh, for the San Greta Cristos. They'll be last to peak at the end of this month into the first week or so in October. Generally speaking, the peak coming uh, for most areas about a week earlier than usual. So if you got your favorite spot, your little niche where you like to go, uh, go maybe a week early this year and that's when the peak should happen. But of course, still plenty of time to enjoy the color in Colorado. 50s to start the day here uh, along the front range, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Late Later on today, satellite showing just a few clouds overhead. We've got a lot of rain out to the east of us. Omaha, Wichita, eventually Kansas City, they'll see rain. I mentioned that moisture coming up from the south, and as a cold front that's north of us encounters that moisture tonight, it's going to bring in a pretty good chance for seeing a few showers and storms. During the daytime today, I'd be surprised if we see much, if any, rain in Denver. There's a small chance after about 3 p.m. Better chances for showers and storms in the mountains today. The far eastern plains may have a few uh, bouts with some heavy rain. Here's midnight tonight, a little rain around Denver, and then tomorrow morning, some rain, some wet road ways for your Wednesday morning commute could be wet for the ride home later today uh, later tomorrow as well about a 40% chance for rain tropical storm Gordon still down in the Gulf Coast heading for uh, or down in the Gulf of Mexico heading for the Gulf Coast currently 230 miles to the southeast of Louisiana maximum wind 65 miles per hour has to get up to 74 miles per hour to be reclassified as a hurricane National Hurricane Center expecting that to happen later on today landfall somewhere this evening around uh, Gulfport Mississippi over toward New Orleans and then the storm makes its way to the northwest toward Arkansas and weakens. So that's what's going on down there along the Gulf Coast with Tropical Storm Gordon. 80 for us here in Denver today. Tomorrow, taste of fall, upper 60s and lower 70s. That's it. 40% chance to rain tonight, 40% chance for rain tomorrow, and then a few more showers on Thursday. Sunny, dry, and warm weather returns for Friday and the weekend, including the Broncos game on Sunday.